In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about Tinker. Tinker is a coding app that you can use in school and you can use at home. There are two modes in Tinker. You've got the home mode, which we're in now, and we've got the school mode. In the home mode, um, you can actually scroll along. You've got lots of different ones here, but what you need to do is you need to, for these ones that I've got a padlock on, you do need to purchase the premium version of Tinker, but it does give you some free ones here. We've got Space Cadet and Dragon Spells. There are two different coding games that the kids can play for free. If I go to the school mode, this is exactly the same, but as you go along now, instead for the school mode, you do get lessons. So programming 101, 102, etc. And if you scroll along here, there's lots of different things that you can do within the school mode. And again, the same two are actually available for the students for free, Space Cadet and Dragon Spells. One of the great things that you can do with Tinker is actually use devices, things like Spheros and drones, in order to code them. And it connects to them via Bluetooth. So I'm gonna show you that later on in the tutorial. So I'm gonna stay in school mode for now. Um, so let's go into Space Cadet. And you can see here, I've actually started some of these. So I'm gonna go into Dance Party. And let's start with level one. So it gives you a little bit of a, a story of what you need to do. Can you get the ray gun, which is what we've gotta do. So let's tap. Use long jump to jump over the double bombs. So let's tap anywhere. This isn't the first level. The kids would have done other levels first, but I would aim this maybe at key stage one, but you can use Tinker all the way up to key stage two. So what we can do with Tinker, we can actually like map these out. So the kids can actually map out how many times they have to walk. So we can see here, we can walk three times to get to the bombs. And then we have to do a long jump to get to the gun. So let's put these in into our block code in here. And then what we can do is we can press the play button and see the character walk through these commands. And you can see here at the top, it's actually walking through those commands as we play. And there we've won. Now if I tap this button in the corner here and then go to home, that takes us back to home. So now we're back to our main screen. And what I want to show you now is how you can connect devices. So let's go into projects. Here you can see some of the templates that are available. So, But I'm going to tap Create New Project and then go to New Project here. And I'm going to delete this little actor here. I'm going to get rid of him and I'm going to tap on the plus. And here you can see I can connect different types of actor. So I'm going to connect a device. And with my device, you can see here all the different devices that are available for Tinker to actually code. Now the one that I have is the Mumbo drone. So I'm gonna tap on the Mumbo drone. I'm gonna to go to the code and I'm gonna create my own code. So let's on start and then go down to the drone. I'm gonna take off, go forward, tap the forward. And I'm gonna just write a small program here. So there's my code. So this is what I want the drone to do. I want it to take off. I want it to go forward for 0.5 seconds, back for 0.5 seconds, left 0.5 seconds, and then right 0.5 seconds. Now I'm gonna tap the play button and I'm going to play this. So you can see the drone has taken off. It's gone forward 0.5 seconds, backwards 0.5 seconds, left and right. But you can see there, how we can do some fantastic coding with a drone and really engage these students with devices such as these drones, spheros, etc. And Tinker will cater for all of these. Then I can go up to and save my project and then go back. And let's save. Now there's plenty of other things you can do with Tinker, but I wanted to give you a feel of what Tinker can actually do for you and your students in teaching coding in the classroom and really make it engaging. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.